everyone! This Sunday is the 29th week in Ordinary Time, and we add one more green week as we continue to grow in following Jesus. This week's Gospel is from the Gospel of Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. In this week's Gospel, Jesus is confronted by some troublemakers who are asking him difficult questions to try to get him to answer in a way that will get him in trouble. Let's take a step back and remember the story of God's people. They were slaves in Egypt. Maybe they even helped build the pyramids. Then God helped them to escape and they were led by Moses across the desert to the land that God had promised them. Along the way, God came to visit them to share his commands, which are to love God and love others. Eventually, Moses led his people to the land that God promised. Once they arrived, they built a beautiful temple to worship God. This is where the people of God were living during Jesus' time. However, unfortunately, the land was taken over by the emperor named Caesar, who was the ruler of the Roman Empire, which at that time had taken over a lot of lands. In addition to Caesar ruling from afar, the Romans also sent soldiers to oversee the people in all of their lands, including God's people. So for God's people, it was really disappointed. They had come to the land that God had promised. But now, that special land had Roman soldiers and leaders. Those leaders took money from God's people called taxes. It was a difficult question to know whether to pay the taxes. They were forced to pay the taxes by the soldiers, but it was really sad to pay money from their own people to send to the emperor instead of staying with God's people to live the life God expected of them. What's more, the census tax was really frustrating. God's people had a temple tax, which they paid voluntarily. They were happy to pay it based on the number of people and so it showed very clearly how their growing numbers of people were a growing strength and source of goodness in maintaining the temple. But the census tax went to Caesar and his empire. So instead of reflecting the goodness of God's people, it showed the strength of the empire that ruled them. So, back to the troublemakers in Jesus' time. They asked Jesus if they should pay the tax. If Jesus said yes, it meant he supported the Roman soldiers. But if he said no, it meant he was fighting the soldiers, which was dangerous. Jesus' answer got him out of trouble. Pay to Caesar what is Caesar's. Pay the tax. After all, the taxes are theirs, the coins are theirs, the empire is theirs. But pay to God what belongs to God belongs to God. Our hearts, our thoughts, our lives, we do. So what does
does that mean for God's people in their special land promised them? What about their special temple? Doesn't that belong to God? Well, Jesus is saying that even the promised land and even the temple can be taken away by others, but others cannot take over the heart. They can't take over our love for God and the goodness we have in our lives. That was a really big statement and a big lesson for the people in Jesus' day. What belongs to God is even more important than the land in the temple. It's us. And even if we have to give away everything else, we are still keeping the best for God, our hearts and our love.